Hi everyone and welcome back. I've had quite a few requests for baking videos, so today I'm sharing with you my favourite recipe for making red velvet cupcakes. If you've never had one before, you're missing out. They're my absolute favourite cupcake flavour and I think they look pretty amazing too. So if you would like to know how to make a batch of these, then just keep watching. All of the ingredients and amounts for this recipe are listed in the information box. So like a lot of baking recipes, the first thing you need to do is cream the butter and sugar together. Using a cake mixer or a hand mixer makes this job so much easier. Just make sure to use room temperature butter and beat it until it is pale and creamy. Add the eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. When the mixture has come together nicely, it's time to add the vanilla essence and red food colouring which gives these cupcakes their colour. Alternatively, you can add beetroot for colour. Make sure the mixer is on slow when adding the colouring, as it can go everywhere and stain if you're not careful. In a separate clean bowl, we need to combine the dry ingredients. Flour, cocoa powder and baking soda. You can sift this in, but using a whisk to combine it will get rid of any lumps as well. In another clean bowl or glass, add the milk and vinegar. Make sure to let this sit for a few minutes, you will see the milk begin to separate. While waiting, you can prepare your cupcake tins. Line 12 cups with cupcake liners. Add half the milk mixture and half of the dry ingredients to the butter mixture and fold together. Add the rest and fold until well combined, making sure not to overmix as this will result in tough cupcakes. Fill the cupcake pans 3 quarters full and place it into a preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Let them cool in the tray for a few minutes before transferring to a wire rag. While these are cooling you can make the icing. Beat together the butter and cream cheese until it is well combined. Add the icing sugar a cup at a time, beating well after each addition. Fill up a piping bag and pipe the icing onto the cooled cupcakes. I'll have the piping bag and the piping tip that I used to create these rose designs in the information box below. Alternatively, you can just use a knife and it will still look really pretty. To decorate the cupcakes, I crumbled up a spare cupcake and sprinkled it over the top of the rest of the cupcakes. It's a great alternative to sprinkles, but I actually think it looks a lot better. And that is your cupcakes finished. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.